Will that talk? Morning. Morning. Great. You know, it's just an opportunity for the parks director, Doug Holloway, and myself to get out and interact and intermingle with the users of our park system, to say hi, find out how things are going, if there's anything we can do better. It's an opportunity to just recharge our batteries and have a positive interaction. You know, we hope the community gets an opportunity to interact with us and that we hear information, ideas, and it can be complaints or it can be great things of what we can do better, because there's nothing that we can't do better in the city of Boise. Yeah, nice. You guys like the zoo? You ever been visit the zoo? Yeah. yeah. Do you guys like some passes to the zoo? Ooh, we yeah. love some. Yeah. yeah. Well, why don't I get you some? Maybe okay. you guys can go check the zoo out. Okay. You make sure the lion doesn't eat you, okay? Yeah. <laughs> that was one of your bucket Mom, lists. Things, huh? Was it? <laughs> Have you been to our zoo before? And I also got a sticker. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty cool and zoo, huh? I also got a sticker. <laughs> I'm so happy. Yeah, I just, it's really just getting out and visiting with the public and just uh, finding out what they enjoy the most about the Green Belt, about our park system, uh, about how we maintain uh, the system. Um, but the Chief and I just to interact with the public and, and uh, see if there's any suggestions folks have, because uh, we're, this is a great way to get those suggestions. I get uh, emails, uh, I get phone calls. So now I can tell people, well, we're going to be out on the Green Belt on Friday, July 8th from 9 till noon, you know, and here's where we're going to be. This is a great time for you to come and visit with both the Chief and I about well, what you think about uh, our police force, what you think about our park system. So really, it's just really all about community engagement and, and just uh, getting out and visiting with the public and, and uh, getting their feedback. And it's a great venue to do that because it's so easy to sit in your office and talk to someone on the phone. It's a lot more comfortable uh, out here actually going face to face with folks and, and getting them in their environment uh, as well. So. We've had him for probably three, four months. And somebody says, oh no, he's a purebred. <laughs> So I can't get out in the community without people saying thank you for what you do and for your officers. But today there's that special tone in people's voice. It was a horrible night for police across this country. <clears throat> thank you. Thank you for what you do. Thank you, sir. Um, you know, as you just saw, people say thank you and, and you could hear it in that man's voice and the handshake he offers as he rides by. He's saying thank you for being a police officer in the city of Boise. Thank you for being a police officer in America. And today that means a lot. I wish every single one of my officers, every officer across America could see that and have that interaction. And so for me today, um, as horrible as last night was, this is something that deeply recharges the batteries um, of being a police officer. Jeez. <laughs> Awesome. There you go. Thank you so all much. Right. I think you guys are probably going to end up on the Facebook page. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's all right. right.